Tell me when to go. Fernando Pimentel, the beer Boxing Voice the beer. here with uh, Ken Porter. Give me the beer. Ken, uh, he wants to give you the beer. No, we're not doing that. <laughs> All right, we're here with Ken Porter. Ken, talk to us about the disappointment of being in camp for so long, moving it out here to Los Angeles, Ontario, Big Bear, with Shane Mosley, and yet you guys get announced that the fight ain't happening because of a car accident. You know, it, it's a disappointment, but uh, just like anything else, you have to deal with it. You got to roll with these punches. It's, it's boxing. These things happen, so we got to take his word for it. And uh, hopefully we'll hear something back real soon that, you know, is going to be rescheduled. Now, obviously, it's postponed at the moment. It is not canceled, so it means a reschedule is what's coming. The thing is that it's, the report says it's four to six weeks. You guys have been training. Do you fear overtraining? No, nah, we never overtrained, but that would have been a problem if we had of if we had of did those two weeks in Big Bear. That would have become a problem because we would have worked. Would that? We would have we would have cranked up our work and worked really hard right there. But I mean, it's just like anything else in life. You know, overtraining is a myth. If you're smart about anything you do, that's just like lifting weights. If you're lifting weights and you start to feel your muscles fatigue, it's probably time to stop. Or it's just like running. If you're running too much and you feel your legs are really fatigued, it's probably time to stop. Same thing happened with boxing. If you're sparring too much or you're hitting the bag too much and everything like that, you just gauge it and you, you pull back. So we were actually getting ready to crank it way up. And that would have been a problem at that point. So as of right now, you guys are just taking it down a tone. That way you guys could just keep them, pretty much have those reflexes there. Yeah, we're just going to work on strategy, technique, you know, um, timing, different things like that. It gives us time to get even sharper. Yeah. Now, obviously the best thing for a fighter is activity. You guys haven't fought since June. This postponement makes it almost a year that you guys aren't going to fight. What are your thoughts on that? I got something planned. Uh, can you give, a, give, give us a clue? Nah, I can't really, but you'll be invited. Oh, all right. Thank you. Yeah. As always, I thank you for those invites. Yeah. Is Sean going to seek another fight before he does Keith Thurman? Because that's the rumor. A lot of people are saying it. We have a plan, but no, Keith Thurman's going to be the fight. Keith Thurman's the fight. He's going to be the fight, yeah. Anything you guys got to say to the fans that obviously wanted to see this fight coming in about two weeks and we're just not going to get it anymore? Hanging there just like we are, you know. Um, it's, it's, it's a part of boxing. You have to deal with it. Injuries happen, we take his word for it, and we move forward. So we're looking for a, a date, maybe, you know, as you said, four to six weeks or something like that. Well, let me get your